Yes, so welcome to our, our pre-lecture video for our exam preparation session. The pre-lecture videos are designed to familiarize you with the content we are going to cover during our actual sessions. And right now we are going to discuss stochastic dominance. So anyway, uh, there are three types of stochastic dominance. We are actually going to focus on the first two. First order stochastic dominance and second order stochastic dominance. So let's start. For first order stochastic dominance, we actually look at uh, the returns, right? So if you have two um, securities or two assets or two portfolios A and B in such a way that the CDF of A is less than this is less than or equals to the to, to the CDF of B then we say that A is first order stochastically dominant to B why because when you look at A I mean like when you look at B this simply means that uh, B um, has a higher probability of yielding, um, oh, is the right pen? I think I should use red. So, when it comes to um, lower probabilities, so this one we will call it a lower probability, I mean, like lower return, right? Lower uh, return. So, basically, this means that uh, B. Has a higher probability of yielding lower returns than A. So A has a probability of yielding higher returns than B and therefore A because it has a higher probability of yielding higher returns than A I mean than B therefore A is stochastically dominant to B on the first order. So what if all this thing is not very clear for you? What if uh, this curve now uh, they intertwine if you have something like this if you have something like this now how do you make these two decisions from here if something is like this then we will have to use second order stochastic dominance so for for our second order stochastic dominance we are in our course we are actually mostly going to look at investors who are risk averse right and we have described uh, risk in the previous chapters there are actually many ways of looking at risk we are primarily going to look at risk as a variance in this course i mean like in this section so basically uh, the spreadness or how loosely spread is the distribution of returns right so anyway, we say that if the sum of the CDF of A is less or equals to the sum of the CDF of B, the CDF, by the way, is the cumulative distribution function, then A dominate uh, B. Why? Uh, because a person who is um, risk averse, uh, every increasing return is less valuable or it gives a uh, lower satisfaction than the previous one it doesn't mean that they uh, necessarily favor lowest return but the lowest return have the lowest risk so an investor who is risk averse also understand that uh, at a higher return there is a higher risk and therefore this thing over here it's uh, less valuable than uh, this so since uh, and also another thing that you need to take into consideration is that they are not necessarily going to favor um, lower return they are, they are not necessarily going to, to favor this point over here so they will actually be looking at uh, the lower risk so A, in this case, dominate B second order stochastically. And it is much uh, more clearer when you uh, draw this thing in terms of um, 
in terms of what in terms of uh, PDF so let's just say maybe this is our PDF right if we have a PDF PDF uh, let's say this thing is normal it looks normal yes so we have B B which is actually loosely uh, distributed and then we have a which is black over there so um, a has uh, less risk than uh, B and therefore a dominate uh, B second order stochastically so we are not going to look at the third order stochastically dominance so anyway this is where we will stop so we will discuss these things more in details in our actual sessions when we do them and we will go through some examples and you may even ask questions but for now i hope this thing has helped thank you very much